afternoon. Welcome to Risa's Attic. Well, I was able to get away to one of the local Tuesday mornings and um, something was always coming up that I couldn't get away and go and look for the house mouse stamps. So, thank the good Lord, today was my day. And I went, my husband went with me, and we found a little bit of a treasure trove. Honestly, um, I think I left three sets of stamps. I think I left three sets of the house mouse stamps there. They were all gone, basically. All right, so I'm going to share with you which ones I was able to get. Um, this is berry sharing, and I really like the fact that that is blueberries. And these little, aren't these little mice so sweet with their little mouths wide open. Looking for a tasty bite there. And the date that is on it is 1990 and if I'm understanding this correctly most of these were originally um, issued on wood red rubber wood stamps and they, they've been reissued as far as I'm understanding specifically for Tuesday morning um, they originally were $8.99 this one I got today for $3.99 isn't that just the cutest thing? Um, there's a blueberry festival that's in Alma, Georgia. And that's got me thinking about maybe making some cute things for that. Uh, here's my second one. Now, all of these have three mice in them. The first ones I'm going to show you how I'll have three mice in them. And I have three grandsons. So one of these represents each of my grandsons. And here's another one. I only have grandsons, and I'm, thank I'm thankful for them. Uh, this was originally uh, copyrighted in 1999, but the date up here says 2019. So I'm sure that uh, Stampendous has had some reissue for Tuesday morning. I think the the word is out and people are just like flocking to Tuesday morning for their craft supplies. All right. Uh, here's three little mice. And from what I understand, they each have a name. I'll have to look that up. Maybe I can go to stampendus.com or Ellen Jarecki. Jarecki the uh, designer of these. Uh, maybe I can find out some information about their names. But each of these mice have a little Christmas bow on their head. Aren't they sweet? And a lot of the, the, the ladies that have been on uh, YouTube talking about their love of these stamps uh, they don't like real mice, but they are in love with the little house mouse designs. Here is, I guess, my favorite. Look at that little, oh, sweet face. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to get started on these. And here's another one. It's a trick-or-treat one. It is called Trick or Cheese. Trick or cheese, isn't he cute? Their little feet. These look so much like real mice. And even real mice are very cute, but unfortunately they can't live in the same house that we live in. And then the next, the very last one that I got was um, a fall float. And it is copyrighted originally in 1986. And it's a little cute mouse just floating downward with uh, this little autumn leaf 
holding him, buoying him up so he doesn't crash. Um, this one was $249. They're all different prices. $249, $299. This little guy who I absolutely love. $199. I'm trying to figure out some way to incorporate him on my uh, cards. I think I'm either going to put him on the back of my Christmas card or on the, the envelope where I seal it. Uh, $249 for these guys. $299 for this one. And this one was my most expensive at $399. Um, they're all different prices. And hopefully you can get out and go to your Tuesday morning and see what you can find for your own collection. I bought this for my Sammy and my Daniel. Benji's just a couple of weeks old, so I didn't quite get it for him yet. But Christmas is coming, and I thought maybe the boys would like to use this to make themselves a... Um, um, some cards, some decoration, and the price on it. These are all. These have all been being four ninety nine. They've been four ninety nine now for I don't know however long. Um, Tuesday morning has been carrying them, but I like the fact that the EK Success has. This little tab right here and it closes it down and makes it more compact I am running out of space so I've got to figure out a place where to keep these I bought this is one of my Wednesday hairs we have a dog but we have a Labrador named Wednesday that's one of her hairs um, I saw a tea towel when we were on vacation uh, last year and it says um, dog hairs they're not just a fashion statement anymore they're also a condiment so though I, I work real hard not to get them mixed in with my food but um, I got this mainly for Sammy and Daniel to make some fun things for Christmas um, my husband went in with me like I said and he found himself, let me give me a piece of paper. He found himself some, because he is actually the artist. I am really not the artist. I enjoy my cards, and I thank God for them. But this, was, this set of um, drawing, fine line, King Art Pins 16 was uh, $19.99. And the cool thing about it, not only do you have these uh, real nice, very fine tip, um, three mi 0.3 milliliters, I mean not liters, 0.35 millimeters. You get six of, uh, like your basic colors, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple, well, and brown. And then the really cool thing about this is it gives you six in black. You have a one millimeter and that is super tiny. That right there is for a real artist. So it's got a, a three millimeter super fine, a three, a three millimeter, then it jumps up to a five, it's bigger than the, the threes of course. That goes without saying, right, Captain Obvious? An eight. Getting a little wider pointed. These are his. He draws. He paints. 
Oh, some of the stuff he's done is just breathtaking. Uh, this is a brush. Look at the fine tip brush on that. Oh my goodness. How fine tip that is. It's a little stiff on the end. And this is, it says a three chisel tip. Can you see it? Is it focusing? You can, I guess you can, if you're into calligraphy and you know how to hold your pen, that'd be a great pen right there. Then I think these are additional brush tips. Uh, that's kind of like a bullet tip. It's a little, uh, it's a little soft on the end, so it is kind of like brush-like. And then the very last one. Another brush-like one. All right. So these, he got these. These are his. And he also got Spectrum Noir uh, Twin Tip Metal mar Metallic Markers. I tell you what, I love my metallic pens and markers. To me, they just create such beautiful, beautiful things. You, when you're when you're when you're inking up um, a stamp. The metallics are just so interesting and uh, make things dimensional. All right. This really copper one here, I like that. I'm going to see what that does. These were $9.99. Okay. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oops, I'm sorry. You didn't see it, did you? Sorry about that. Look at that. Um, doesn't look too metallic right now. And they have a double tip to them. Uh, that's a brush tip. And this is probably a bullet. Bullet tip. It says they're metallic, and I, I'm not really seeing... A metallic sheen on it. Of course, that just might be my eyesight. Let's see if I can do this silvery one here. Maybe it'll show up a little bit more since it's silver. Yes. I can see the sheen, and I think it's picking up for the, uh, the camera lens there. You see that? They all have the brush tip at one end and the bullet at the other. I think he did a he he made a uh, a wise choice there in these um, Spectrum Noir metallic dual tip ultra smooth coverage. There you go. Beautiful. I would say that they're worth the the ten dollars for uh, spending some time with me today. I hope you like what you see. If you do, give me a thumbs up.